Morning. Good baby, baby. Good ship. Wow. Eight hours later, there's still coals in my wood stove. I literally didn't add any wood last night. And I didn't even add a lot of wood before I even went to bed. This is so efficient. This is freaking awesome. Kept my, my bed warm all night. I love it. Thank you, God. Thank you for this stuff. It's awesome. Yeah. I love it. The sun is finally breaking through the clouds, the fog, the freezing fog. And I am sitting over my wood stove. It's so awesome. Literally, the whole seat is warm, but not too hot. Because I got a thin enough piece of metal so that it, it doesn't accumulate enough heat to transfer to the wood above it and my butt above it so it schleffs off the heat more around here so I'm actually getting a lot of a lot of heat coming up here it's really nice <laughs> this is this is the the bees knees you dairy sheep Loving it. Thank you, God. Oh, it's so amazing. I love sheep milk. My favorite thing on earth. I feel like I'm in a jacuzzi. Because <clears throat> I'm like fully surrounded by heat. But yet, if I lean it out here and I'm not getting this heat that's coming up and I'm getting more of the cold air. Um, yeah, it's like a, it's like being in a, a jacuzzi with your head out. It's hilarious. Uh, I got a dry jacuzzi. I love this pace. I love walking with a halter. I had to put the halter on today. Oh, I got the halter cover on too. I forgot. Yeah, super easy to control the day because I got these freaking new, actually not new, they're used, slightly used. Uh, one of my new YouTube subscribers sent me a pair of slightly used um, Keen boots. Yeah, they're uh, super clunky though from what I'm used to. So, <clears throat> yeah, I feel off balance. And uh, yeah, I can't, I definitely can't run <laughs> in these boots. I mean, I can't run the same like efficiency. I'll have to learn how to run <laughs> in these boots. It'd probably be dangerous for me to try to run though. Okay, Good sheep, can I park you there for a second, okay? I'm look for some mustard greens. I've been passing by on the road. And I've been seeing these mustard greens getting getting lush. Look at all these mustard greens. Freaking beautiful. Awesome. Mustard greens. Yeah. All these pears here were wasted this year. Because they couldn't irrigate, so they weren't quite as big as they normally are. They just collected insurance money instead of trying to market them. So we're going to try to convert as many of them as we can into pear butter. Alright, I'm making some pear butter today. Yeah, let's see, we got 
got some Stork's bill here, some Alphalaria. Alphalaria grows along the ground sprawling. It uh, doesn't grow away from the ground like this plant, which is actually poison hemlock right next to it. They look very similar to the uh, untrained eye. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Alphalaria. Yeah, the flowers have these long spikes on them before they open up. That looks like a stork's bill. Some people call it stork's bill. But Alphalaria. Yeah, it doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't have a very good texture, but when, when you're boiling it down, you can't feel its texture. So it's all good. Got some malo next to it, but the malo is messed up. This malo looks better. This malo looks good. Oh, look at that. I just want to pick from the center. And in general, the smaller ones, more dark green, more consistently green and vibrant, like this one has darker center but it has lighter fringes. That one's going to be older. I picked like this center one right here and this center one right here. And I picked this center one right here, but something's weird about it. It's got a couple holes in it that's been attacked by a bug. This one right here is starting to get some yellows in it. It feels weird too. Got a bunch of chickweed here. Chickweed is not, does not have a good cooking texture though. Like when you try to cook it, it ends up just being like slimy. And I could surprisingly pick up on it like in small ratios. So it's not, um, not good for cooking. So make my salad. Out of the chickweed. This one right here is in flower. You see, chickweed. It's not in flower. You can identify it by the rope inside of its stem, the cord. And another way to ID this plant is that there is a single line of hairs that grows along its spine you can see them showing you there's the top of the there's the line of hairs on the top of the stem i'm showing now it's facing towards the camera i don't know if you can pick up on that and now the line of hairs is underneath the stem can you see that got some dandelion right here I just picked the tips. The tips are uh, don't have any bitter in them, and they don't have like a thick cord, fibrous cord. Uh, I can go in my salad, and it can go in my. I want dandelions in my salad and in my cooked food. Mallow isn't very good in salads. Dandelion and chickweed salad. These little, these big pieces here were attached to the side of the root, uh, the root bulb. And these here, these little pearls, were inside of a little uh, a hard sheath. And that was attached to the side of the bulb as well. Um, the bulbs are weird, they have like three different parts. And then the other parts are the seeds. Some of them are sheathed and some of them are unsheathed. Make some potato soup. Potato soup. Potato onion soup. There's this much wild parsley in. It's still so strong and it's like almost two years old. The bag still smells so good, I love it. All right, got some forage rosemary. I'm gonna grind that up. Rosemary is really hard to cook down to where it's smooth. I'm 
Nice. That'll be. Mmm, that'll be nice. Potato, onion, soup. Wouldn't be complete without rosemary. And now is when I start to add the butter fat to it. Add sheep milk. Got another cup here. And then as this boils, this will uh, create naturally um, some cheese. Some cheese will curdle out of the uh, boiling process. Some cheesy potato, wild edible soup. Add some wild mustard seeds. Yeah, it's just like chia seeds. When you get these wet, they uh, they get like a gelatin layer around them. So they're good for thickening up soups. Mallow is good for um, thickening up soups too. That's um, mallow is good for creating like a soup thickener. Um, that's one of its main one of its main uses culinary uses all right this is my friend's chicken egg these are really good chicken chicken eggs too they're super yellow and the yolks are super easy to separate they're super solid yolks i don't ever have to worry about them popping freaking awesome thank you rebecca I have boiled down whey into a syrup here. This syrup I use for salads. It's just made from my sheep's whey that I boiled down into a syrup. Pour some of this on there. And mix it up. I need to make some vinegar from these pears. That's what I need to do. Just a pear vinegar. This is a two-year-old walnut. This is a three-year-old walnut. They don't have any white in them anymore. If they've gone so black that they don't have any white inside, then they're no good. If they're just dry, bone dry, but if they still have some meat inside, these are really good. <laughs> like seriously, um, they taste like uh, they taste like a weird kind of aged cheese, but better. Like honestly, absolutely amazing. I like to crumble them up into salad. Ooh. Thank you, God.